el expresidente Barack Obama ha salido a sacar la cara por la candidata Kamala Harris. Ha estado dando regaños a muchos grupos, especialmente a ciertos tipos de votantes en los Estados Unidos. Ha estado regañando a los votantes negros. Les ha estado diciendo, esto está mal, ustedes no pueden creer que la persona no es ideal simplemente porque sea una mujer. Ahora, el reportero senior de datos de la cadena CNN, Harry Enten, ha sacado un nuevo análisis de cómo están cambiando los vientos políticos en contra de la candidata demócrata. Según sus datos, según su estudio, el presidente Trump es el republicano más fuerte entre los votantes negros desde el año 1960. Esto complica la jugada para la candidata demócrata, esto complica todo para el partido azul, porque tradicionalmente han logrado atraer mucho más el voto afroamericano. ¿Qué dicen los datos sobre cómo se está comportando este panorama? Evidencia. Sometimes there's a trend line that I never noticed before and make me go, whoa, this is one of them, all right? This is the Democratic margin among black men under the age of 45 in presidential elections. You go back to November of 2012, what do you see? You see Obama by 81. Clinton only won him by 63. Then we're all the way down to Biden last time around yeah. by 53. A tremendous drop already. And then you take a look at the average of the most recent polls and Kamala Harris is up by only 41 points. That is about half the margin that Obama won them by back in November of 2012. And this, I think, is, you know, when Barack Obama goes in last week when he was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, essentially talking to young black men, he made it seem like it was a Kamala Harris specific problem. Uh -uh. This is part of a long-standing yeah. trend of young black men moving away from the Democratic Party, and Kamala Harris is just the latest to face that magnitude of black, younger black men going towards the Republican. That was what's mo most interesting here is the trend line and where some of the biggest drops happened or already happened in this case. How about black men overall? How about black men overall? It's part of the same picture, you know. We're looking once again at younger black men. It looks like the worst Democratic performance since 1960, since JFK versus Richard Nixon. It's the same thing among black men overall. Again, part of a similar trend, but here actually the drop off isn't as dramatic, right? Barack Obama won him by 85. Then you see 71 with Clinton, 69. Biden, basically the same thing, holding steady. But here again, very, very weak, only a 54 point margin. Now again, still winning him by a large margin, but considerably lower than what we're used to, certainly considerably lower what we had during the Obama years. The bottom line is Kamala Harris with younger black men and then black men overall putting in historically weak performance for a Democratic is candidate. Is she getting any relief with black women? All right. So, you know, we're talking about the trend line, right? And black women, look, she's doing better with black women than she is doing among black men. But here, there isn't a trend line almost until we get to Kamala Harris. So again, this is a black mar uh, margin among black women. Look, Obama won him by 93, very large margin. Clinton won him by 93, a very large margin. Biden did a little bit worse at 85, but then you look here and you get a 71 point margin. Now again, these are large margins, but the bottom line is when you're talking about the base of the Democratic Party, You would think that Kamala Harris would do very well among black women based upon history, and of course she would be the first black woman president, but she's actually doing the worst for a Democratic candidate among black women since 1960, if this holds true. Hay un comentario de Oprah, se encuentra un hombre negro en un aeropuerto, ella le hace el relato a Kamala y se indigna porque es un hombre de la raza negra, joven, que le dice, yo voy a votar por el candidato republicano. Y este comentario le pareció a ella un insulto y una raya más para el termómetro acerca de todo lo mal que anda esta prevalencia del voto entre los afroamericanos en los Estados Unidos. Los datos hablan solos. Hay una tendencia muy negativa en este sentido para con la candidata demócrata Kamala Harris.